Manhattan Station on Space to Ground. Welcome to Space to Ground, your weekly look at what's happening on board the International Space Station. I'm Dan Hewitt. A brand new way to launch satellites is ready to go with two Texas schools set to shoot two satellites into orbit. The crew set up the Cyclops Satellite Deployer, which will enable larger satellites to be launched from the station than ever before. And it will send out Lone Star, which consists of AggieSat-4, built by Texas A&M students, and Bebo-2 from the University of Texas. Lone Star will demonstrate communications and maneuvers that could be vital to future NASA missions to destinations like asteroids that will require two spacecraft to interact. And astronaut Tim Coper got ready to light a few fires for station science. Coper was hands-on this week with the burning and suppression of solids Millikan, or BAS-M, experiment. It's burning flame-retardant cotton fabrics to see how they resist getting scorched in microgravity. This will help future mission planners choose safe materials for use in space and could influence textile manufacturing here on Earth. About 100 million Americans had to deal with a major blizzard this week, and the station crew got a good look at just how massive it was. Scott Kelly shared a few of the images he took of what some have dubbed Winter Storm Jonas. Responsible for dumping more than two feet of snow across much of the eastern half of the U.S., the gargantuan weather system provided some striking whiteout views for the international crew. Stay warm, everyone. Keep sending us your questions using the hashtag space to ground. We'll see you next week.